I was mentioning that we have been collecting material since 7 October and we have certainly collected a great deal of digital and documentary evidence, but we have had difficulty in collecting evidence firsthand from witnesses and victims to those events that have occurred in southern Israel on 7, 8 and 9 October and in Gaza and the West Bank since then. So far as the Government of Israel is concerned, we have faced not merely a lack of cooperation, but active obstruction of our effort, efforts to receive evidence from Israeli witnesses and victims to the events that occurred in southern Israel. We have contact with many, but we would like to have contact with more. Is everyone uh, listening? Uh, the sound is fine. As good as the physical evidence, the digital and documentary evidence that we have is for us informing our conclusions and recommendations, it must be supplemented by the personal experiences of people, of victims and witnesses, of children, women and men who have experienced what is happening. We are grateful to the assistance of states that are cooperating in our investigations and we call again on the Government of Israel to extend the same cooperation to the Commission's inquiries. Thank you. 1,200 persons and more than 14,000 people. The Commission has covered the most salient issues, such as the legality of the occupation, the shrinking of civil I would like to express my serious alarm over the latest developments in the region and the military escalation between Israel and the Islamic Republic of Iran and the risk of triggering a regional conflict. It is critical that all parties work towards a military de-escalation at this juncture and prioritize the mitigation of impact of conflict on civilians in Israel, in the occupied Palestinian territory, including East Jerusalem and elsewhere. We made specific recommendations on accountability in the case of crimes. Killing more Palestinian people, including those most vulnerable. Uh, uh, the Sirochi will present updates on the investigations of the commission. The Israeli authorities have regularly stopped and denied the entry of humanitarian aid into Gaza. This is in direct contravention to the provisional measures ordered by the International Court of Justice that Israel must, I quote from the order, take all necessary and effective measures to ensure without delay the unhindered provision of urgently needed basic services and humanitarian assistance in conformity with Israel's obligations under the Genocide Convention.